The Justice Department saying Attorney General Loretta Lynch will receive and accept recommendations of career prosecutors and investigators, along with FBI Director James Comey over the Hillary Clinton email scandal. Remember, Lynch has been under fire this week. After that meeting, she met privately with Hillary's husband, former President Bill Clinton. And joining us is the host of Justice with Judge Janine. Judge Janine Pirro is here. Good to ha have you on set this morning, Judge. Good morning. All right, so everybody's talking about it. We just had Judge Napolitano on. All right, first, we'll get to the private meeting and your take on that. But what do you make of the latest uh, that we're, about, we're expected to hear on Loretta Lynch saying that they will accept any recommendation on well, this investigation? Well, you know, apparently this morning at 11 o'clock, uh, I think she's at the Aspen Institute, and yes. she, will, uh, she will have to further explain what she meant by that. A lot of people interpret that uh, her comment as meaning, look, I'm going to kind of keep out of it. I'm going to accept the recommendation of the FBI Director Jim Comey and career prosecutors. I guarantee you she will pull that back and say, then I will make a decision. You know, don't get all comfortable with, you know, I'm going to be really, really good about this and I'm going to let the career prosecutors handle it. Understand one thing. The President of the United States has said that there has been no security uh, problem as a result of the Clinton email server. That sent a signal to the FBI. The meeting with an ex-president, the husband of a target of a criminal ongoing investigation with the FBI, sends a signal to the FBI as well. And what we've got here are people who lie on a regular basis. I did not have sex with that woman. Uh, I did not send emails with any, you know, security uh, uh, risk uh, information on it. The bottom line is this. If the president has instructed Loretta that mm -hmm. you are not to put this in the grand jury, and my theory is the reason that they won't is because Hillary Clinton emailed the president. What does that tell you? That tells you that the president knew that Hillary Clinton had a private server, ClintonEmail.com. Mm -hmm. If she were to be indicted, her first defense ah, witness mm. is the president of the United States, mm -hmm. which will then throw this country into a constitutional crisis, and I would bet my house that she will not be indicted. I mean, we just saw the testimony from her top aide, Huma Abedin, who said she didn't use it because she knew it was the wrong thing to do. Yeah. That being said, this controversy over the meeting between Lynch and former President Bill Clinton on that tarmac, the planes, this was not a coincidence. I mean, we, we, we from the reports that we've heard, uh, yeah. the reporter that was tipped off that this was happening, Bill Clinton's plane sat there for 30 minutes before the meeting took place. Exactly, and that's what I said to everyone. Everyone, you know, you may want to take them at their word. I can't take these people at their word. That they talked they about grandchildren and golf. <laughs> All right, but more than that, as a sitting DA, yeah. if anyone approached me while I was investigating their spouse, irrespective of whether there's a, it's a president or the, you know, the local union person mm -hmm. that I was investigating. What would you do? Uh, I would run the other way, and <laughs> I'll tell you what, my staff, my bodyguard, they would all have said to me, Judge, you can't do this one. The fact that yeah. that didn't, I mean, we've been hearing this talked about as an optics problem. Yeah. But the fact this that is that not an optics. But the, the fact that that didn't happen suggests it's more than an optics problem, doesn't it? You're absolutely right. And people say, you know, we don't know what they really said. They were talking about the grandchildren. My whatever. Your they house. were not talking your about house. the grandchildren. Yeah, yeah, it was the house. Go back to the house <laughs> analogy. But, but the thing is, the law is clear. You must avoid the appearance of impropriety. It's not just, we don't know what they really said, give them the benefit of the doubt. It's the requirement on all of us is that you avoid the appearance. And when Bill Clinton goes on that jet, and has to actually stop everything on the tarmac. Yeah. He had to have her permission to do it, his permit, his bodyguards. This is just a, another example of how they're laughing at us. Well, see, and this brings me back to the point that these aren't accidents. There aren't circumstances. None of us know what they said on the on the plane, but that's not the issue. I'm with Brian on this. The fact that they took that time, that he waited, private area of the airport, that it had to be a tip to the reporter that was then verified by another independent tip. He had a meeting with his bosses, went there and got the story. This is also a case of a reporter doing their job. Yep. 
And look, public schedules, the Attorney General of the United States has a public schedule. If they wanted a meeting, they could have had a public so schedule meeting. To be clear about this meeting, um, they, they both said that this was unplanned, but Lynch said it was largely social, as we noted. She talked right. about they talked, she said they talked about grandchildren and golf, uh, and that they obviously no, didn't touch golfed. on the email investigation. <laughs> Probably his golf game. She suggested that he walked over uninvited uh, from yes. his plane right. to her government the plane. The President of the United States always Always walks over uninvited <laughs> just by you? circumstance no, no, no. to show up. But, but it's more important than that. She's saying uninvited. The mm -hmm. signal is don't blame me, it's mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it was her plane. Mm -hmm. She didn't have to let him on. And any ethical prosecutor, attorney general would have said, I love you, Bill, we can't do this. Yeah. Period. Yeah. End of the story. Well, but Bill Clinton knows that it looks bad. Of uh, at course this, he at does. this point, he is, he is seasoned in this that it, kind of stuff. But does he care? So, but that, but that doesn't. I mean, his wife's running for the presidency. Wouldn't you avoid at all cost anything that looks Not if bad, he's trying smells to bad? Influence the attorney general. Let, understand this. But the that's Clintons not going to do this for a living. And if she wins, he's signaling to Loretta Lynch. You know, there's more for you in my. I have a question. Couldn't they have just picked up a phone and had a chat? Right. I mean, why did that's they have my, to have this that's physical my point, meeting? Is yeah. that if yeah. I do it in a in a, in a pu more public way, that people would get would get a hold of the information <laughs> yes. and then report it? Hubris. Yeah. You're right. My word for this is hubris, Dagan. This I happens it all funny. the time. It's not. It's. Uh, it, there's nothing funny about it. It's hubris. It's. We will do this. The story will go away in a couple of weeks. A new news cycle will start, and then we'll be on to the next thing. But to but, ju but the judge's point, she, if he's influenced it, possibly. We've talked about this before. If if Hillary Clinton doesn't get charged, and any one of these FBI investigators knows that the, there's evidence there, that, it, that it's going to get out. Well, it it will get out. So politically, it's going to hurt her, regardless of the way that you cut it. Especially with the last statement, when uh, they came out and said, you know, we're pretty much going to accept the determination of FBI director and the season's prosecutors. That's almost unleashing them and saying, all right, guys, if we don't accept your determination, you know, you, you're free to come out and attack us. I guarantee you she's going to pull back on that at 11 o'clock wow. this morning. Wow. All right. We'll be watching it. Thanks, Judge. Thanks for being here. Good to see you.